Hi, this is Nancy Hamilton. Welcome to Tips of the Day. Uh, today we're going to cover some soldering um, information about getting ready to solder and what you should do. And the first thing you should do, this is a real little setup that I use when I need a really hot torch. Oxygen combined with a bottle gas, um, acetylene, propane, whatever, um, burns really hot. And um, I don't use this all the time. I use this when I want to solder something that has um, a, a, a burnable, a meltable element and I need that torch to go in there and melt something really fast. So I, when you set this up, these you can get at um, Home Depot, I know carries them. And I've had this for a while and I just reset it up for this demo. So what I want to go show you, the first thing you should do is check your hoses to make sure that there's visibly no cracks, holes, or any problems with them. As they age, and especially if they're exposed to the outside, they'll, they will crack. Uh, but this has been stored safely away, so I've already checked it and the hose looks great. The second thing you need to do is check your, your seals. These are all tightened down by hand. You never use tools to tighten down uh, gas tanks. Um, so always hand tight. And then you want to take a little thing of water. And um, in this case, I'm using a pure Castile soap because I don't want to... Uh, I just don't like the other stuff. And then um, I take a soft brush. And I'm not going to make bubbles in here. I just want to kind of gently stir it. And I'll check all my connections. Any place where there's a... Um, a threaded connection you want to check and I'll run it around here around the neck and around the joint up here on my gas and let's see where are my oxygen down here around the neck and then I'm gonna turn this on and see if I see any leak bubbling up this one there's a little bubbling I want to make sure that's just what you can see is if it's leaking, it'll be real foamy, almost almost like a, a bubble bath look. And these look really pretty good. And then I'll just wipe off the soap. So I'm going to assume that these look safe. My, my um, hose looks good. And we're ready to go on soldering. Um, with my big tanks, every time I change my tanks, I check all these connections again, especially after I unhook it, I rehook it back up, I check it with the soap. And I also spend the time to really be careful, carefully check my hoses uh, to make sure there's no cracks in them. Um, another thing you may encounter is these. These are little strikers. And they do wear out because um, the tip gets worn down. It abrades against the steel striker on the inside. And m many people don't know how to change these. It's pretty simple. I just take a little plier like this. This is a one with a grooved, uh, toothed internal surface. And then you just unscrew it. And they sell these little uh, whoopies in um, packs at the hardware store. And they have a threaded internal uh, threading. And you just thread it back on like that. So easy. And then you're set. You're ready to go. Except that new ones are always tough. There we go. So that's how to get ready for soldering. You can also use the electronic ones, which I love, which you'll see in other demos. It makes it your own spark. So that's our tip for the day on how to get ready for soldering. Uh, come back for the next one. We're sure to have something extremely interesting. Thanks.